Welcome to the Better Humanology Podcast, hosted by Jared Moon and Talon Schwalm. This podcast is designed to make you a better human. If you like this podcast, please share it, and in iTunes leave a positive review and rating. If you are a robot, like me, you can listen as these silly humans try to become better. Ha 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 ha. Thank you for listening. Faster than a speeding bullet. I ran until my muscles burned and my veins pumped battery acid. More powerful than a locomotive. An idea is like a virus. Resilient. Highly contagious. Able to leap tall buildings with a single bound. All right, guys, this week on the Better Humanology Podcast. Oh, I always forget. So, Hi, this is Jared. Yeah, my name Alan. is Jared Moon. This is Talon <laughs> Schwamm. We are your hosts for the Better Humanology uh, Podcast. If you guys want to know Hello. who we were, for some reason, we always forget that. Like, if you were to just start listening to the podcast today, you'd have no idea who we were. So that's, that's our formal introduction. But anyway, uh, this week on the Better Humanology Podcast, we test out speed reading to results up front, spoiler alert, to make us a better human. Uh, yeah, like it straight up worked. We're just yes. telling you that right off the bat because I think you guys would be more interested to know how on earth speed reading worked and what we did exactly because this wasn't a two-week experiment. This wasn't a one-week experiment. It was a 20-minute experiment that we knocked out uh, really just a few hours before this podcast. And Boom. it was pretty awesome. I was impressed with the results. Uh, Talon, I'm pretty sure you're, you were impressed with your results equally impressed so what'd you think about speed reading though really i really liked it man i really liked it because you know i i for me reading for me reading is kind of personal like i like i really put like a lot of thought i feel like and energy into my reading you know so do you re-re-word re-read words a lot uh like not words like sentences, sentences. Yeah, yeah sentences sometimes paragraphs um, You'll start an entire paragraph over. Yeah, like because because I really you know it, it doesn't matter if it's for fun, it doesn't matter if it's for learning. I really like to try to really understand what the author tries to say. Um, is trying to teach to teach me. I feel like I don't know. I just see if I come across a confusing paragraph, I think it's the paragraph's fault, and then I have like the the weak link men- mentality as leave leave that paragraph behind. We don't need him. Really? <laughs> Just keep moving forward. It's interesting how it seems like to me we're, that's very opposite of our personalities, though. Yeah? To, like, understand more? No, no, no. I, I don't feel like that. I'm, I'm saying, like, because, because you, you know, you're, you're, you're a structured guy, you know? And, I mean, you're, you're still a, uh, you know, a dreamer and, and big idea guy. But at the same time, you know, you're, you're an organized structured guy and i would think that i I would just i would assume maybe when i was thinking more about um before i reading that you'd be one of the more like me and i'd probably assume if i was looking at us from the outside i'd be more like you just being like oh f it you know it doesn't matter i I can still get the gist you know yeah i think i'm an incredibly (laughs) impatient person so that's (laughs) that's that's what what that ties in you want to be able to read faster you could fly through books, become a doctor, a lawyer, whatever, in record time, right? I mean, that's what speed reading is supposed to do for yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, I mean, those are kind of all the logical things. I mean, uh, some of the stuff I found out were that it, it can improve your memory, bring you better focus, um, higher levels of self-confidence, um, improved logical thinking, um, emotional well-being, um, so heightened emotional well-being, and, and improved problem-solving skills. So I thought those are some pretty powerful, you know, uh, improvement areas that's supposed to bring you. Uh, some of the other ones I found were... Um, empowerment overall, you become more comfortable where you are, uh, supposedly, um, better access to better employment because you can learn and train faster, um, strength and personality traits, um, because it talks about becoming more confident and how that ties in, um, enhancing your memory and, um, um, and giving you more opportunities, um, to abilities to learn sophistication because you'll have learned more and retained more information. So, I mean, I mean, really the, the, the list goes on and on. The list goes on and on. I mean, I could I could go on for days. Um, so I mean, and, and obviously we already talked about the results. I mean, very quickly can help. Jerry, what about the why for you? What do you think? Well, you know what? What I wanted to talk about before I talk about my why is why a different kind of why. <laughs> 
why do humans suck so badly at reading? Because if you think about it, like, <laughs> so, so, so we're going to talk about how... Are you talking about me? No, 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 no. Just, <laughs> so why can't humans just read at their fastest potential as is? You know, like, we have to do this, like, special course. And had I never taken this in, this this little course or, or did this uh, exercise, you know, I, I would just be my normal... Right, normal paced read, reader. So I I don't know why exactly uh, human beings aren't good at reading, but we just aren't. We're not we're not as good as we could be. So this is a good way to become a better human. But as far as my why, so you and I were down in your neck of the woods a few weeks or months ago, something along those lines. Right, uh, visiting a friend, and we ran into uh, our friend's brother, who was a Navy SEAL, recently retired, and. Uh, he was telling us all sorts of cool stuff, like different war stories and uh, classes he had taken, things he'd done. Uh, I think I just sat there and listened to him the whole night. But uh, yeah, some really impressive stuff. <laughs> yeah, and one of the courses he talked about that he went through, and one of his favorite that he took uh, in his twenty years of service was the speed reading course. And the more he talked about it, and uh, the more he talked about how he was able to, you know, just kind of guide his hand over a page and like just process insane amounts of information and how they were doing this to gather intel, like when they were deployed and all this other stuff. Like I, I was just super impressed. And I was like, you know, I've, I've definitely, I've heard of speed reading before, but you kind of just sold me on it right then and there. Like I, I got to do speed reading and we got to do it for the podcast. So, right. And I'm glad that we did. And I didn't take that much time. Originally I thought, thought that speed reading would be cool, but I'll go ahead and say, I didn't think that it would work. I didn't think that you could do, Mast, not master. I definitely haven't mastered it, but I didn't think that you could actually get better in only 20 minutes worth of practice. So I'll say, uh, going in, I did not think the experiment that we did specifically, uh, not speed reading, just this, the experiment we did, I didn't think would work at all. Oh, really? I, I mean, I thought I might get a little bit better, but I thought that it was just like, I didn't think it'd be anything dramatic. What? Yeah. I mean that going in, that's, that's my, uh, huh? That's well, I you know, I, I guess I just thought I'd heard enough about, about you know, I, I knew kind of what the general concepts of speed reading were. I knew, I mean, you're kind of tracking it. It was, I mean, we'll talk about that here in a little bit, but, um, you know, I, I kind of just knew already what it was going to be like. So I kind of figured that, I kind of figured that it'd work. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I'm surprised. So you had no doubt in your mind that you'd be able to run 300 or be able to read. No, not 300%. In 20 Maybe minutes. you're right. Maybe you're right. Come on, I mean, man. That's I, quite the claim. All right. It so. Is. It is. I, that's my hypothesis. I didn't think that it would, uh, didn't think it'd work, but, uh, thought it'd be really beneficial if it did. Boom. And I mean, is there any other information about speed reading people should know? Oh, you know, there's some stuff, there's stuff <laughs> I, I, some research I found about, you know, what speed reading can do for you. You want me, you want me to get into that a little bit? That'd be awesome. Oh, you know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the brain spends 80% of its time just trying to locate the ORP. Can you remind what's the ORP again, Jerry? The optimal recognition point. Oh, okay. And optimal optimal recognition point. That's a it's a certain point toward the center of a word, right? So when you're trying to read that, is that? I guess that's what they're trying to talk about. Is when they talk about the ORP. Yeah, your brain is trying to locate the point on that word where it can figure out what the word is and then process that word. Got it. Got it. So, I mean, so you know, it's it's, it's your brain spends eighty percent of the time trying to locate that. And the other 20% of his time trying to comprehend the rest of the word. So within milliseconds, your brain becomes, begins to process the entire word and its meaning. And so um, those are kind of some, some background information that you know, I found to be interesting when trying to figure out how this speed reading could really help us you know, to read faster. We really should talk about I mean, what um, the actual exercise that we did you know, was. Basically, you, kinda, you, get, you get a baseline. Um, I'll give you know, a shout out to Mr. Tim Ferriss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, should yeah, give you a little, little better description about yeah, so that Tim, overall first. If right? you haven't heard of uh, Tim Ferriss, you should definitely check him out. He does a lot of self experiments himself, um, and has a lot of good information on his website. Uh, I think it's Four Hour Workweek uh, dot com, something like that. He has a podcast too. It's like the top podcast in iTunes. So. This dude is, uh, he knows what he's doing, and he, he published an article a few years ago, and it was like, how to increase, how to, uh, like, increase your reading 300% or 
your reading speed by 300 percent in 20 minutes and uh talent and i stumbled across that and we we're like yeah we gotta we gotta put this <laughs> one to the test that sounds like it'll make you a better human so <laughs> and it's really not even that like i thought this was going to be like this huge blog post i was going to take me like an hour to read but i mean no. you got you got through it pretty quick uh it- it's a very quick read. I mean, like you said, I mean, I don't know too much about Tim Ferriss, but just in in this one exercise that we've done and the results that we got that we're about to break down, I mean, he, he's gained a lot of credibility for me. So, um, but in, in saying that, I, I do want to talk about kind of what we did, um, so that the, so the listeners know, because um, it's very simple. I mean, the fir- first thing he talks about you want to do is um, you want to get your your words per line um, of, of a book of choice. So you, you, you want to find a book um, that you can lay flat. That's, that's very important he talks about. Um, book that you can lay flat and then find your, your words per line in the book. So you count those out. And then you want to find your words per page by um, you know, counting out the, the, your words um, by Divided by the number of lines, you know. Do we should we talk about all that, Jared? I don't want to get into all that. We don't yeah, want to talk about I mean, all that. Yeah, it's a lot we? of numbers, and that's. And I don't want to talk that, about all that. <laughs> that. That was the hardest part of the the uh, experiment was uh, trying to find out how many words per page I I had in my book. But uh, yeah. we, we can. He, let's just say that there's going to be a link in the show notes, and you're going to be able to find out exactly where this post is, uh, and you can follow it just like we did. Uh, but I do think maybe we shouldn't break it. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's more simple principle. than it sounds already. I mean, I, I probably kind of mucked it up trying to explain it already a little bit. You, but you get your words per line and your words per page, and then it's just a series of you, you're tracing a pen along the page and uh, you know going pretty fast, and then starting to use your peripheral vision right. uh, and and making that shorter and shorter. So at first you skip the first word and the last word, and then you go to the second word and second word. Anyway. You start moving pretty quickly and it starts to work and he has like one minute exercise, two minute exercise, three minute exercise, one minute exercise, and then you're done in 20 minutes. Um, And should we give our actual numbered results now? Sure. I mean, he talks about the beginning, what the average, I think we found for most people to to read were between 200 words and and 300 or 400. What, what, What was it? I think his article said uh, two to three hundred, and then I found another article online that said it was two to four hundred was the average. All right, well, two to three hundred makes me feel a little bit better because my average when I first got my baseline was two hundred nine. So I, I'm no Floyd, Floyd, I'm no Floyd Mayweather um, or anything. I can read, but I'm not. Um, I, I suppose I'm not one of the fastest readers. I mean, I like to go back. You like I to concentrate my, on the word, and yeah, and you know, I, I actually caught myself even while I was doing my baseline going back because I mean, the book I chose. Um, let's see. I'll just name drop it real quick. Gift from my dad: The Twenty One Indispensable Qualities of a Leader by John C. Maxwell. But anyway, so I started out, and you know, when I like when I read, especially if I'm reading for pleasure, or if you know, especially if I'm reading for for knowledge too, you definitely want to understand what you're what you're what you're reading. So I guess I'm just one of those people that I'll go back and read sentences sometimes two or three times over to make sure I really understand what the the author was trying to say. So I've caught myself doing it during the baseline. So I, I was at a two hundred nine. Uh, current uh, words per minute, but by the time I finished um, this little this little practice, I was at 448 words per minute. I mean, uh, words, yeah, words per minute. So I mean, I, I was quite a bit more than double uh, my speed, and I was able to comprehend everything. I mean, that was something else. I mean, maybe that's still why uh, my numbers at 448. I mean, maybe compared to that other site that we we found, still aren't that special. Still, I mean, I was able to comprehend everything using the techniques talked about in the in the exercise. So, um, so my results were awesome. I mean, absolutely doubling my speed and still same comprehension. Awesome. So, Jared, what, I mean, what were your results? Yeah. So I did the baseline, went through, did all this little math, and then uh, found out my baseline was around three hundred fifty words, three hundred fifty one words per minute. Boom. Boom. Finished out at one thousand and one words per minute at the end. Yeah. Uh, so it, I don't, well, in all honesty, I don't think that either one of us actually did 300% increase. Is that right? Um, nope. Nope. I wasn't at 300% increase, but so. w- it was pretty close. And, uh, I think if I just practiced a little bit more, I'd definitely be there. So I got a book in the mail today, actually from, uh, a guy, uh, his name's Dr. Rob Bell. Been talking to him a little bit. He's like the, the mental toughness guy. Uh, and I'm going to ha- try and have him on the podcast soon. Anyway, I, I was actually reading his book today, 
and uh, after I got home I, and I'd already done all the the experiment and stuff uh, and I was just reading it slowly like uh, you know or not slowly but just how I would normally read a book you know I was like right yeah and I was sitting there and I was like 350 words per minute and I was like this is so slow like yeah I, I've experienced speed reading now I have to like I had to like grab a pen actually I was using my finger I think and I was just like all right I'm gonna flow through this and like I was just going like as fast as I could and I was comprehending you know most everything it's amazing how much you know tim ferris in his post specifically says like if you're if you're reading for like just reading a book you know out of pleasure or whatever uh you can really like speed the crap out of it because you're gonna get the even if you miss some of the comprehensions you're gonna get the the overall gist but if you're reading for study uh that you should instead of reading like three assignments in you know, the same amount of time it take you to read one assignment. Right. It says you should read that. the one assignment, the same assignment three times to get ultimate comprehension right. un- until you get good at speed reading. But, uh, I mean, I'm not studying for much, so I'm just trying to <laughs> become a better human and fly my way through as many books as possible now with this new speed reading uh, technique. Yeah, H- Hemingway, man. Speed. Hemingway just knocks it out of the park, right? Uh, how many times have I talked to you about Hemingway? Right. But succinctness did i tell you about his little story no i've been telling everybody about his story so oh, good story time so hemingway uh they challenged him back in the day they're like i don't know if it's at a bar or whatever they're like hey hemingway you're a good author how about you uh tell us a story in the in the fewest amount of words possible right and so he sits back he thinks for a minute and uh he comes up with this he says Baby shoes for sale, never been worn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Epic, right? Yeah. That just amazing. Uh, ever since I, I read that about Hemingway, I've been, I don't know, more intrigued by, by his writing and his style because he's like, I don't know, he, keep, he doesn't, he, you don't use complex words and you keep things simple and short and you get the message across, uh, you know, right away. Right. I think some people like over elaborate and stuff when they they write and anyway, yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to speed read some Hemingway. Is what I'm saying. Oh man, so that would be like the ultimate super fast understanding, getting the message across. Yeah, 110 percent combination. Yeah, fatality. Where did the fatality come in there? Uh, from my Mortal Kombat experiences and as a childhood. From the dead babies he's talking about in his story. Nope. What? I do want to actually challenge everyone to do that, though. Like, some of the stuff that we do, like, okay, maybe you can't dedicate a week or two of your life to sprinting or... Ooh, I like this. Or whatever. But this one, if you literally have 20 minutes today, and in fact, since this podcast is going to be short, so the the time that you'd normally spend on the Better Humanology podcast (laughs) uh, is going to be cut short today. So just take that extra time and actually... Uh, apply it and become a better human and read faster starting today it only takes 20 minutes and it works both of us uh, officially stamp of approval for better humanology yeah absolutely approved get out there and make yourself better it only takes 20 minutes and we're out Hey guys, thanks for listening to the Better Humanology podcast. If you want to know about any of the resources we talked about, head on over to betterhumanology.com and check out the podcast show notes. Likewise, we have betterhumanology.com slash toolbox where you can find every resource that we've ever talked about on the podcast. So go check it out. Until next time, here's to becoming a better human. always whine about their best.